Japan is known, of course, for its innovative technology, intriguing culture, and stunning beauty. In May, Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and the beautiful prefecture of Mia will proudly host the 2016 G7 Summit, a gathering together of world leaders from France, Germany, the United Kingdom, Italy, the United States, Canada, and Japan. Over the next few programs, we'll explore three different areas of the country, all featuring, in their own unique manner, Japan's history, values, and way of life. This is America and the World is brought to you by the National Education Association, the U.S.-China Education Trust, and F.Y. Chang Foundation, guided by Ambassador Julia Chang Block, President. The League of Arab States, representing 350 million people in 22 member countries. Tourism, Malaysia. The Petrolin Group, expertise with integrity in the fields of oil and gas, exploration and production, energy and infrastructure. The Rotondaro Family Trust. The Embassy Series, uniting people through musical diplomacy, presenting international artists in diplomatic settings. And Ventana Productions, television facilities, editing and distribution services. The G7 Summit, the group of seven, will meet at the exclusive Shima Kanko Hotel in the Mia Prefecture, which is home to the Grand Shrine, Pearl Divers, Seafood, and Matsuzaka Beef. I met with the governor of Mia to learn about being on the world stage with the G7 Summit. Tell me about this wonderful prefecture. What, what, what do we mean by prefecture? What is a prefecture? In Japan, there are 47 prefectures. It is a kind of unit of government. So it corresponds to the states in the United States. So this prefecture, in which you are the governor, tell us three things we should know about Miha. The first thing is our industry is very active. And the Mie Prefecture is very strong in the manufacturing sector. And we have the expectation that our economic growth rate will be number one by 2025. And the second thing of the three is we have Ise Grand Shrine and also other places of the heart of the Japanese people. So we are blessed with the spirituality and also tradition. The third one is we have Matsutaka beef and Ise lobster. They are the representative food or cuisine of Japanese food. Although you have mentioned that I have to tell only three, I have to add another thing, that Mie has the most handsome and the youngest governor in Japan. Who is that? <laughs> oh! <laughs> in May, at the end of May, G7 Summit, what have been the challenges that you've faced preparing for the summit? Security is the utmost importance, so we need to hold our summit safely and securely. The American president and also all the other world leaders will come here, so it is very important to have the safe and meaningful discussion. Because we are having this summit, so it will be a good chance for us to enhance our name value. So we need to appeal the attraction of this prefecture to the rest of the world. And that is our challenge. Why do you think the prime minister and the government chose Iseishima? Why did they choose this area? We have Ise Shrine, and that is 
the center of the Japanese heart. And Prime Minister Abe wants the world leaders to be touched upon by that kind of tradition and culture of Japan. The second thing is this beautiful nature. So while world leaders are looking at this beautiful nature and then relax and then promote their meaningful discussion. And the Mie Prefectural Police Force has been very good at protecting the very important person, such as the Emperor and Empress, and also the Queen Elizabeth of the United Kingdom. Very handsome, very popular, a very young governor, G7 summit, international publicity. Would you like to be prime minister someday? Huh? For the summit meeting, the world leader will come, including the President Obama and the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and also Italian Prime Minister Rentsch, and all of them are very young, so I will be stimulated very much. However, first I have to do my best performance as a governor. However, I will receive your comment very happily. <laughs> governor, thank you so very much. Nice meeting you. Wonderful conversation. Thank you. Understanding Japan's devotion to nature is a major key to unlocking Japanese culture. The Ise Grand Shrine is the most important Shinto location in the world. It's dedicated to the sun goddess and has been in existence for more than 1,300 years. Its central shrine is so sacred it can only be glimpsed over high walls deep in the forest. A Shinto priest tells us more. What is the role of the priest here at the shrine? Protecting its place in nature, as it is now, is very meaningful. Nature is the most important thing in Shinto. There are 80,000 shrines throughout Japan. Nature is the basis for all of these. The shrines are always found in the mountains or by the ocean or a river. Nature is an essential part of the shrine and is directly connected to it. Is there a brief summary of Shinto beliefs? Shinto accepts good things from all kinds of religions, and this also causes Shinto to blossom. I think that this acceptance is the marvelous thing about Shinto. For example, we accept some Buddhist concepts into Shinto and turn it into something new that is Shinto, and we carry that on as part of the culture. That is wonderful. So acceptance, nature, uh, important. Are there special gods or deities involved in Shinto? Yes, we celebrate the great goddess Amaterasu. Amaterasu is the ancestor of the imperial family, and to the Japanese people, the god related to their own ancestors. So this shrine uh, here in Issei is dedicated to the goddess of the sun, huh? That's right. The god is likened to the sun. As Japan's sun god, she gives kind blessings to nature. That essence, as the god of the day, is a significant part of that. By he, I mean day, day of sun. The grounds are so beautiful, huge grounds. As we walk around, tell us some of the special sites that we should look at. Hmm? That's right. Yes, what I would most like to introduce you to is the Isuzu River. This is a first category Japanese river that is a particularly beautiful one. Near the river, the forest is very beautiful, and the contrast of that beauty with the clearness of the beautiful river, I would very much like you to see that. How old is the shrine? How many years does the shrine go back? It was built more than 2,000 years ago. How many people come here every year? Nowadays, 10 million people visit the shrine every year. 20 years ago, that was 6 million, but now many more come, and there are more visitors from overseas also. 
The most important thing is to come and to see and to feel. As Governor Suzuki told us, the Mia Prefecture is an industrial and technology success story. We visited two companies to learn about grinding machines, motion control technology, and of course, robots. They're all used in various ways in the manufacturing of everything from airplanes to phones, from solar panels to cars. Along with innovation, we learned that precision is the name of the game and another piece of Japanese culture. How is the world of machinery changing? How is the world of machinery changing? Uh, it's uh, changing, uh, it's improving for the, uh, uh, the, to make the pre precise machining. And why is that necessary? You know, our product is used uh, for a robot, uh, which is working in uh, something, uh, for example, car manufacturing, welding, welding line. This should be, very, should be very precise because uh, it's controlling the uh, repeatability of the robot. Uh, the uh, top, of, top point of the robot repeatability is uh, about 0.1 millimeter, very precise. Uh -huh. the, every uh, industrial robot has um, uh, six axes, something like my, my uh, second axis, first axis, uh -huh, third you. axis. Uh -huh. the, the, uh, every six axis, uh, our reduction gear is uh, located. The Robots are small, medium, large. What would be an example of small, medium, and large? What would oh, they be doing? You know? yeah, something, uh, a small robot is like uh, this size. Okay. Uh, they each can be uh, handled about the three kilograms uh, load. Uh, I don't, I'm sorry, I cannot say pond, but yeah, three yeah, yeah. kilograms. The large one is very uh, large. Uh, it's not uh, it's not installed this this room very large, two times larger. And what would that robot do? Um, um, the robot is um, uh, handling car itself. Oh, and handling the car itself. Car itself. Oh, so there could be robots making the, using smaller parts, and then the larger car itself. Yes. And the medium robots, where, where do they fit into the, the, the picture? What, what, what would they, what would be an example of one? Oh, uh, yeah, the, mainly the welding. welding the, the welding. Line. Yeah, the we call that spot welding. Yeah. Something like uh, they make a current in between the two poles. Mm -hmm. the, 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 uh, the, the welding the two, two sheet metals okay. into one. Is the um, idea of precision uh, machinery is there something to be said of how that relates to Japanese thinking, Japanese culture, Japanese innovation? Mm -hmm. Precision machinery here and Japanese culture there. How do they come together? A very difficult question you do. Eh? <laughs> so um, there's one word, uh, one very famous word in the uh, factory uh, area in Japan. So the, that's it, Kaizen. 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 How do you spell? Kaizen, K-A-I-Z-E-N. Kaizen. Kaizen. Mm -hmm. The Kaizen is a kind of improvement, improvement uh, to make things better, Kaizen. And that's part of the culture, huh? That's the part of culture, very exactly. You have uh, developed a huge, a positive reputation, successful reputation, 60% share throughout the entire world in this arena of precision machinery, huh? How, how do you maintain that uh, success? How do you maintain it? Is it just the equipment you produce? There is no King Road, and there's no magic in to maintain the uh, this repu uh, reputation. The, the important thing is uh, we have to step uh, two step or three step forward by the competitor. Mm -hmm. The uh, in in a sense of the design, 
the, the design of the uh, reduction gear is very important and very difficult. And uh, the, uh, also for the important thing is uh, the production line. The how they uh, machine, how they assemble, it's very important because the, uh, the, these parts are very precise. For the average person, what, what is a grinding machine all about? And what's the purpose? And where does that fit into the whole business of manufacturing? Uh, usually, uh, grinding machines are used at the last stage of machining process. What would be some of the products that you would be involved in mm -hmm. selling now? Uh, automobile parts or aircraft or you know, telephones or all kinds at the end users. I'm fascinated with the idea of innovation versus improvement. Mm. Where does that show up in your company? It's getting uh, people here thinking about, start thinking about that now. Mm -hmm. Before, they, their mind is completely occupied by improvement of the machines or improvement of the products. But now they start thinking about we have to create new value for the future. So we opened a Labo in Tokyo area uh -huh. and we, start, we started uh, research and development for laser, new laser technology. Uh -huh. And how will the laser technology be used? Uh, to uh, make a very fine hole, invisible size uh -huh. hole. For what purpose? Like a medical purposes or, uh -huh. you know, uh, the tools. So how long have you been involved in being the boss here of the company? I became uh, president. President? Um, almost 20 years ago. And has it been difficult as a woman in, uh, I hate to say it, mm. a man's world, mm. this business of manufacturing? Mm. And has it been difficult for you? Oh, yes. And 20 years ago, Japan is not like this. Japan was completely man's world. Uh -huh. So I have to fight with those people every day in business. Mm. And especially in this industry is very male-dominated industry. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I be, uh, acted like a lady samurai. <laughs> mm. <laughs> lady samurai. Yes, that's my spirit. Your spirit. Yes. Was there disrespect uh, at, at the, the beginning? Be yes. At the beginning, mm. people did not think I could make it as president of this kind of uh, company. So here we are, twenty years later, and yes. you so have people, made it. People uh, now understand a woman can do that too. How has uh, Prime Minister Abe's mm. a focus on women mm. in the workplace? Mm. Uh, has that helped? Oh yes, it made a big change in Japan. In addition to being a successful technology hub and the spiritual home of Shinto, the Mia Prefecture also hosts two very special exports, pearls and beef. We visited the Mikimoto Pearl Museum and looked at some rare and beautiful examples of jewelry and art that showcase natural and cultured pearls. We also got to watch an historic reenactment of women diving for pearls. I spoke with the museum's director and curator. What is the place of Pearl Island in Japanese culture? It is right here that pearl cultivation, which is a special industry in Japan, started. This is a commemorative place. I think of it as a place of industrial heritage. You have a little uh, pearl uh, in your pin. Tell me about that little pin. This is the corporate symbol of Mikimoto Pearl Island, of Mikimoto Group. What is so special about Pearl Island? This island is where Kokichi Mikimoto first succeeded in cultivating a pearl. 
Kokichi's dream was to tie pearl necklaces he'd made around the necks of all the women in the world. Until then, pearls were something that only wealthy people could obtain. He began his pearl cultivations so that anyone could wear pearls. It's something you and I don't understand because we are men. For women, pearls are truly valuable, precious stones. Tell me a little bit about jewelry and works of art for pearls. To use such precious things as pearls, not for jewelry, but for works of art. What does that signify? Using such a valuable thing so extravagantly, that can only be done with cultured pearls. When we think of pearls, we think of oysters, and open up the oyster and discover a pearl. Is that the way it works? Cultivating pearls involves helping the oyster to make the pearl. We get it set to make the pearl. In the old days, they had women who were diving for the oysters to uh, look for the pearls. Is that true? That's the way it was done a long time ago, back when Kokichi Mikimoto began his pearl cultivation. The women divers would dive to get the oysters and operate on the oysters to get them to make pearls. The show is a demonstration of that. How long have you been here uh, at the island with the museum? The museum has been here for 31 years. I've been working here for 41 years. You must be very proud. Of course. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for the fine interview. Thank you. Just about everyone who loves steak knows Kobe beef. Perhaps not so well known, but it should be for sure, is Mia's Matsuzaka beef. In a private dining room, the manager of the famous Wadakan restaurant gave me an education on the special raising of the cows while a young woman named I prepared a sumptuous meal, sukiyaki style, which is thinly sliced beef and very, very delicious. You have to tell me about the special beef. We have our ranch where we have a little less than 1,000 cows, and we are raising Tajima cows, and all our cows are virgin cows. A lot of trade secrets specifically, however, in general, our employees are taking care of cows very carefully. Every day they do runs to check their health and hygiene. We use special feed, corns, wheat, barley, soybeans, straw. So at a different time of the year, we give different type of food. The cows uh, are raised for how many years? 30 months to 40 months. That's unusual, isn't it? For us, it's an ordinary period of time. Does that add to the special flavor and the tenderness of the meat? Yes, that kind of special type of raising will provide the tenderness and flavor. And for example, wagyu or Japanese beef has special sweet flavor. So a uh, special uh, diet, uh, special health care, I heard or read about massage, for the cow's massage. Yes, sometimes we provide massage for our cows. Is that true? Yes. Our chef, her name is I, explained the meal as it was prepared. And this is a kind of lard, the beef fat. This is sugar. Sugar. And this is a special type of tamari soy sauce. The beef was unlike anything I've ever tasted. Absolutely delicious. Mm. You just take a bite and it just, it almost like melts in your mouth. Mm. Heaven. Perfect, thank you. Japan is very different than other countries because no matter how close you look, there's always more to discover. 
You could say that even though Japan has a high profile, there's so much more beneath the surface. Special thanks to the Imperial Hotel in Tokyo and ANA Airlines. For information about This Is America and the World and to watch all of our programs, visit our website, thisisamerica.net, and look for us on Facebook and Twitter. This is America and the World is brought to you by the National Education Association, the U.S. China Education Trust, and F.Y. Chang Foundation, guided by Ambassador Julia Chang Block, President. The League of Arab States, representing 350 million people in 22 member countries. Tourism Malaysia. The Petrolin Group, expertise with integrity in the fields of oil and gas, exploration and production, energy and infrastructure. The Rotondaro Family Trust. The Embassy Series, uniting people through musical diplomacy, presenting international artists in diplomatic settings. And Ventana Productions, television facilities, editing and distribution services.